So after they got us good and pumped, and I'm mm. definitely going to look up their music later. Definitely. Um, we had Barstool Profits. Barstool Profits. Interestingly, another one I felt like I could kind of relate to the location of in some way. They were good. they were a band from Down and Brighton. Yeah. Right near my hometown. In fact, um, one, one of, the, of members the members was from Worthing, which is my hometown. Very go Worthing, <laughs> go Tettlegate Wrecking Crew, go throwing oranges in the sea, go throwing go go burning all of the wood. That, but yeah, whatever. There's a, Worthing is good. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, clearly it has a chance. Otherwise, we wouldn't be getting such beautiful people uh, like me, <laughs> or I guess the Barcelona province out of it. Yeah, they were yeah. great. Yeah, um, it was quite fun because uh, you had things like um, they were trying out new stuff. Like they introduced um, a brass section, which they yes. apparently hadn't done before. Yeah, I mean you can act, like a lot of people who sort of don't know much about Scar looking in go, oh, you got you got to have horns, right? But no, it's yeah. just ultimately at the end of the day, it's the it's the, uh, it's the rhythm of the guitar and stuff. And yeah. uh, well, the term Scar doesn't that originate from the actual sat sort of onomatopoeic. Um, sort of I probably looked this up on YouTube a long time ago. I can't know to tell you. I that. mean, I, I'm up. just going by what I heard one particular mm. guy who's I mean, in a ska band yeah. say about it. I think it. it's probably a misconception that comes about simply because uh, back in the origins with the first wave stuff, you know, it was in Jamaica in like the like I think it was like the 1950s. Mm. Of course, you're gonna be. Well, in fact, probably even older than that. I don't know, but it's like. All I know is that reggae actually you are gonna, was born of ska because. Well, they're like. Equal and opposite, aren't they? Like, it's, it's, the, it's where the it's where the mute comes in. Uh, well, this is something that I did. Yeah. I did look this up, and mm. it's one of those you look, you go, okay. So I start with Scar, and then reggae, yeah, yeah. They emerges. Were, in any case, Barstool Bridge were quite sort of very, they're very much punk on the Scar punk scale. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that they were another one. That. That was sort of a okay. We're getting more into the scar side of things, but we're still a bit punkish. Oh yeah, and um, very hot blooded, weren't they? Yeah. Very. The front man was very energetic, very excited, and yeah. he was good at making us excited. Yeah, and that's the thing is, um, I've I've seen that with a few bands where it's all mm. like, they definitely get you pumped because. The front man is pumped. Yeah, they're just bouncing off the walls. Like um, D Crops, when I saw them the first time, I, I remember in my written review of that, I described Jürgen Engler, the front mm. man, as basically being like a hyperactive five year old on yeah, Skittles. Yeah. Mm. And it it really worked because it really got you pumped. And that was the same case here, where it's sort of like, okay, you've got. You're, you're, winning me over because that's a lot of what it is with a lot of support bands they mm. they're trying to win you over that you remember them as well as the um, main band oh yeah which that's definitely worked in all three cases mm. like i'll let you finish gushing about the because you were especially i was very enamored with them yeah like uh they um i really enjoyed their uh, don't let the door hit you on the way out song yeah uh which is apparently they've been uh, singing that outside downing street i think did it uh, yeah. earlier today uh which regardless of your political opinion i think that's pretty likely to make you yeah, give you a good old good old chuckle they were it was very well the thing is um they dedicated it um sort of like it was dedica dedicated to bigots, racists, misogynists and Theresa May well, and yes. consider the fact that Theresa May's ousting is a bipartisan um, mm, mm, mm. everyone thinks that's a good thing well yeah yeah so it's be yeah but uh, I, I don't know they, uh, they seem to have very good vibes it was very fun when they pulled out the uh, the brass section as well yeah uh, they integrated that very very well um, yeah all around, just generally a good time. I don't, I don't really have much more to say. I'm still sort of sucking it all in. Yeah. But I did rush out and buy that CD immediately afterwards. Same. Uh, it was the only re. It's one of those cases of the only reason I didn't buy um, Thieves of Liberty's CD is hmm. I didn't see it there. I, like I, I looked over at them and I I didn't spot it either. But. Yeah. So. Hmm. Um, I'm not going to say it wasn't there, I'm just saying... We, that... we can't see anything. Yeah. And yeah. I will emphasise that there is quite frequently um, 
perception failure on both our parts. So. Oh yeah, we're very vulnerable to that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we frequently, um, should I go nerdy here? Yeah, should I go nerdy. We're, we're frequently rolling critical fails on our perception tests. Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah, the only other thing I'd say is that they were very good at audience integration. Like, I think that's a, I think that's a thing among ska bands. I think they, they like getting people worked up and like skanking and, you know, yeah. uh, you know, dancing and flailing around a lot. Yeah. As uh, was evidenced later on, as we'll surely even go into. Yeah. <laughs>